that enclosure across the rooftop garden walk was a complete research laboratory. There is an additional rumor concerning a third penthouse suite owned by Tesla and regularly visited by him through the years atop the Waldorf. One researcher has claimed that this was the site of the power broadcast which made the electric car of Tesla lore to operate profoundly. The antenna structures were known to have been formidable atop this latter site and the story of these spectacular finds will be described in detail in a soon coming telecast. While Tesla was feverishly pursuing his thrilling discoveries in the fields of space energies, psychotronic transmission of thought and intelligence, psychotronic weaponry, etheric beam weaponry, and transportation via gravity nullifying rays, the Soviets also were actively following and attempting to duplicate all his claims. In, in fact, all of Stalin's regime was centered around such researches in their own dire attempt at outdoing our atomic bomb arsenal by all and any means. Stalin enslaved thousands of qualified persons along with the Nazi defectors whom Russia enslaved almost as warmly as America rewarded them. These were forced ordered and threatened to develop new weaponry and technologies in order to ensure the utter defeat of the capitalistic systemologies wherever found globally. Do not trust this modern sweep of glasnost with its cunning subliminal usage of words implying gladness. Stalin reaped his rewards in the research laboratories which now turned out weaponry and technologies hand over fist from the early 1940s down until Khrushchev's regime. Today, today we have several facts in possession which justify a disclosure of the global implications of Tesla's technology in the hands of the Russians. First, our own SDI project has resulted in the deployment of beam weapons on several of the Russian naval installations. This we have as a reference point by a Ukrainian doctor of physics who learned of these truths from colleagues within the USSR. These devices are curious developments along accepted lines of engineering but have nothing in common with the far more mysterious designs of Nikola Tesla which involved recently rediscovered and demonstrable facts while using Tesla's own specified hardware. The effects are etheric ones and cannot be explained by existing electrodynamic theory. The Teleforce beam weapons of Tesla utilize extremely high bursts of energy in specially made plasma arc jets. The effects noted during operations of low-power devices, as reported to us by researchers, is the powerful transmission of a mysterious direct current thread through great spatial distances without any apparent current passage through that space. These paradoxical measurements are real, and we will furnish certain of these demonstrations in video format for you, the audience, in a soon coming telecast. The teleforce threads emanating from these devices are coherent ones and represent a very different form of energy. These beams may also be made to transmit usable power at great distances. And in the forthcoming video demonstration, you will see electrical capacitors charged by the emanations of these simple devices alone. The strong emanations do effect electrical changes while not themselves being electrical at all. These, the Soviets were very concerned with recreating and deploying in modified form long after our own military apparently had rejected all such proposals. This the American forces seemed to do because of the cumulative effect of accepted ignorance. And since their chief engineering consultants were using the accepted paradigms which limited their view without actual experimental evidence, 
they were predisposed to reject all possibilities of teleforce. But their Soviet counterparts never had such a luxury. Stalin, you will remember, was threatening both self and family with punishment and death should they not recreate these devices. Every Tesla patent was meticulously scoured and rebuilt. And we have no doubt that they did, in fact, manage to rediscover that Tesla's technology has nothing in common with ordinary electrical machinery. They found, as did certain of our researchers, that Tesla's machinery actually utilizes energies which are etherically derived and left unexplored. Tesla discovered an entire basement level of reality and developed his own technology independently while others were devising machinery along more conventional directions during those early years of research. As is often the case, when the herd enters any region, there seems to follow a tendency towards reductionism and the, quote, practical effectiveness approach, unquote, which eliminates most of the anomalous findings which hold the deepest secrets. These seem to fall to the side and are left as artifacts in journals for the willing and the curious to search out. Bibliomancy will become an increasingly important art as our new century approaches and progresses. The second field of inquiry which Soviet science slave camps were forced to study was extrasensory perception and all the associated powers in that realm of reality. When we are shown those task press releases of psychokinetic phenomenon involving Russian peasant girls, we are being warned of their far deeper accomplishments of which we have several absolute references. The Russians recruited every person who tested strongly as potential psychokinetic projectors. They also recruited every strongly receptive or transmissive psychic for use in certain projects and for direct application in their own psychotronics laboratories. What, what is psychotronics? What is its history? And what is its potential use as weaponry? We ask these questions now. It was near about the turn of our last century that several researching persons began noticing the effects of thought itself upon certain measuring systems, particularly electrical ones. Tesla was one of these. We mentioned how that he noticed the effects of resonant coils upon his own thought processes directly while the power was off. A most curious legend was advanced as a joke, but more recently has been revealed as solid evidence that Tesla had in fact been making advancements for a long time in the field of psychotronics. He had been working in methods used to enhance, alter, amplify, repress, and project thoughts themselves. Such machinery and modems of action are psychotronic devices and these are specifically designed to allow the interaction of the operator's mind and will when in use. These devices are designed to demonstrate thought projection and enhanced thought reception as well as to determine certain other remarkable things as the retrieval of lost articles and persons or the retrieval of desired articles and the whereabouts of them. While these tidings sound utterly fantastic and unacceptable, we have absolute demonstrable proof that they not only represent realities, but are in fact the very peak of items now being tested and deployed in high clearance intelligence circles. These devices make atomic weaponry foolishly obsolete. Now, these devices are in existence in the Soviet Union and are deployed as weaponry. And the Soviets have been coupling the use of such psychotronic devices along with their army 
of psychically gifted persons. The device shown to you here is the famous Agrad machine, designed and perfected in order to utilize etheric energy surges in order to destroy pests 